Welcome, this is Chad from Ancient Photons Astrophotography. Today I'm going to talk about local histogram equalization and how you can use it to bring out the details in your astro images. I generally use LHE during the later stages of nonlinear processing, uh, after some noise reduction has been done, uh, a few curves adjustments. I use two iterations on my images, the first to enhance the contrast of larger structures and the second to emphasize the smaller structures. So on the screen here I have NGC 2175, the Monkey Head Nebula. It's an SHO image. Uh, it's had some processing done already and it is ready for LHE. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is determine whether or not this needs to be masked. And the way I do that is by assessing how much background there is. And this has plenty of background. Um, I don't want to apply LHE to the background because it'll make it blotchy. Now if I had some nebulosity hiding back here that I wanted to bring out, uh, LHE might actually be good for that. But in this case, I'm just going to keep it simple and uh, create a mask using the range selection tool. I'm going to make it nice and smooth here. It actually looks pretty good. Let's see. They're about there. Okay, so I'm going to apply this now and check it. Looks like it's doing a good job of protecting the background. So this is good to go. Now let's uh, open the local histogram equalization process. It's under intensity transformations. And if I set it to default here and do a preview, uh, it's kind of crazy. It looks, it's, it's a mess. So it's way too much. Um, and that's a, actually an important thing to consider when using LHE. It's very easy to overdo this. Um, so keep that in mind when you're when you're applying this. Uh, I think subtle is better. Okay, so we're going to look at two parameters here, the kernel radius and the amount. Um, that's what we're going to focus on. The contrast limit, um, I find that 2.0 works quite well for most applications. Uh, if you go too high, you're going to get a little bit too much noise. If anything, you could go a little bit lower if you want to reduce the amount of contrast and thus noise. Um, histogram resolution and circular kernel, Pixinsight actually uh, recommends not changing those. I've experimented a little bit and I haven't seen anything significant, so we're just going to leave those default. Um, now the kernel radius basically determines how large the structure is that you're enhancing. Um, and so if I raise this up, it's going to uh, make the structures bigger. So here at 64 pixels, uh, these are kind of medium sized, actually pretty small. If I go up here to 134, you can see they get much bigger. If I keep going, they get even bigger. So I want them to be a little bit smaller than that. And I'm leaving the amount at uh, 1 right now. This determines how much of the uh, original image is in there versus the affected image. And right now it's all a, uh, the affected image. So that's why it's so intense. But it's good to leave it there while you adjust your parameter of kernel radius so you can tell how large the structures are. Uh, in this case, still just maybe it's a little too big. Let's go down a little bit. All right, I'm going to toggle on and off. And what I'm looking for is some of these larger structures to see if those are the ones that are popping out a little bit more. And this looks pretty good. So next, I'm just going to adjust the amount. And I usually go way back. Let's toggle the preview on and off. That's pretty subtle. We could go a little bit more. Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, I'm happy with that. All right, so let's apply this to the entire masked image. Okay, I'm going to undo the mask preview, and then let's undo this and redo it a few times. Looks pretty good to me. I'm going to keep it. So once that's done, now I can focus in on the smaller structures. And to do that, I'm going to create a preview of a region that has a few of these, just so I can see what it looks like. All right, this looks like a good region. I'm going to focus in on these guys here, these smaller structures. I want to bring them out a little bit. I'm going to reset my local histogram equalization, set a preview here. This is the default settings. Obviously, it's creating way too much noise. Uh, 
on. So we'll, we'll reduce the amount eventually. But let's just concentrate on the small structures here. What I find is that under 100 is generally a good area to, to get the small structures to come out. Over 100 is, is the larger structures. So we're at 64 here. I'm gonna go even smaller. Let's just go all the way. You can see when we go all the way, it's, it's way too much. So let's bring it back up and see if we can find somewhere in between that, that works for us. Let's see. It's better, uh, toggle. It's very, very close. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. Just again, I'm focusing in on these darker structures here. All right, so now that I've found the right setting for my, my structure size, Again, I'm just going to reduce the amount way down. Toggle just to see. Okay, that's maybe a little too subtle. Let me bring it back up. Let's see. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm seeing some of the background structures come out. So I'm going to keep that. And I'm going to check it. I'm going to preview the entire image, not just the preview. just want to make sure. You probably can't even tell a difference on, on a YouTube video. It's a toggle, but uh, it's definitely making a difference. None of the areas look problematic. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this. Okay, so that's it. Now let me, uh, let's, let's do an A-B here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Um, I'm going to undo both. LHE iterations. So here's the original, and here is the final. Original versus final. So I think it makes a big difference. It really makes those structures pop. One thing you might notice, I think it's important to point this out, is that uh, as you apply LHE, you may notice some saturation, um, uh, some areas being desaturated. And so it might be a good idea to get your curves out and just Apply a little bit more. I'm gonna bump it just a little bit. Okay, it looks good to me. I'd say that's it. You know, it's ready to be combined with the stars now for the final image. So this looks good to me. Now let's talk about galaxy. The approach is very similar. Here we have M51, uh, and first thing I'm gonna do a mask because we clearly don't want to affect the background here. Let me reset it. And I'm going to make this mask extra smooth to get rid of some of these background stars. Uh, this looks pretty good. Let's apply it and check it. Perfect. Now let me go to the preview here so we're nice and zoomed in. And let's just use the same technique. We will start with large structures and then do smaller structures. So reset, preview. Going over 100 here for the larger structures. And what I'm looking for is I want to bring out these spiral arms a little bit. I mean, that's pretty intense, obviously. Here, toggling the preview off, back on. I go all the way up. Let's see what that does. We're pretty far, pretty far up. That's 360. All right, too much. Okay. That looks pretty good to me. Now let's just adjust the amount so it's not so intense. A little bit more contrast than hurt. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's preview it on the entire image to make sure the background is not being affected. I'm going to toggle on and off here. Don't see anything too serious. It's good. Let's apply it. Okay, that is finished. I'm gonna 
undo it and redo it. Looks good to me. Now we can focus in. I'm, gonna, I'm going to reset LHE. Let's focus in on the finer detail. And again, uh, below 100 is usually pretty good as a starting point. Let's go all the way and just see. Yeah, that looks. that's a little too small. Let's bring it up. And it's going to look pretty intense if we keep the amount at 1.0 when it comes to galaxies just because there are so many so many structures in here. So it might be a good idea to pop this back to about 50%. That's actually looking pretty good. Let's just go back very far. Toggle back and forth. So what I'm looking for when I, when I do the fine details, uh, I'm especially looking at these dark bands inside the spiral arms. I want to bring those out a little bit. Try this. That looks pretty good. You can see uh, a lot of small detail popping out, but it's not overkill. Pretty good. Okay, I'm going to keep this. Uh, apply it to the masked image. Okay. Now, let's zoom in here. I'm going to undo both. Here's the original that we had. Here's the final. Original, final. I think it's an improvement. I mean, I think it really brings out some of the important details in this galaxy. Um, so that is pretty much it. Um, I want to, uh, on the next one, I would like to talk about the core of the galaxy and how to bring out some of the hidden detail uh, within the core. Um, you know, as long as you haven't blown it out, um, you should be able to find some detail in there. So we can use a process called HDR multi-scale transform to do so. Uh, so anyways, that is it. Uh, I hope you find this helpful and I hope to see you on the next one.